So did you uh did you go to Yates? Yeah, I went okay. to Yates. Okay, yes, yeah, legendary yeah. high school over here. You tried? Did you try TSU or U of H? No, no, no. I was I went way down to uh to Alabama, South Alabama. I was at man. Listen, I done been to over sixteen different schools, man. Like when man. I tell you, I bounced around from like family to family. My auntie right there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I used to stay with my auntie. I'm talking about yeah. I didn't didn't stay over there. Shout out to Annie over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, I've really been to, like, from elementary, it's like, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to Lockhart, from Blackshaw, to Ryan, to Welch, to Lufkin, to Yates. Okay. And then then you started to go college, you know what I'm saying? Because I hope too. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So I went, I went to college, too. I went to, like, five different colleges. So it was like, yo, man, nigga bounced around. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere, you growing up in the hood, you know, the main thing is stability. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't have that, so. Yeah. So, uh, what made yeah. you just say, fuck it, I'm finna go ahead and try this rap shit, man, and go with it and really actually go in the studio and record, you know what I'm saying, and start really making music? Yeah, it wasn't really, it wasn't really about me trying to make music, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't, I made music for a different reason than other people made music. I made music to cope, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. When I used to be at the high and I ain't had nothing to eat, I ain't had no place to go. Like writing music for me was my way, my way out. You know what I'm saying? For me to get people to relate to me and what I'm going through, that was that was somebody saying, bro, I feel you, I understand your pain. You know what I'm saying? I see where you coming from. So that's what music did for me. You know what I'm saying? My first, my first round, I rap for my uncle over the feds, you know what I'm saying? And like from then on, him saying, bro, you you all like keep going. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even have a, I ain't even have an in the world relationship with him. My, my relationship with my uncle was in prison. You know what I'm saying? Visit him in the feds. So, it's like for him seeing it, like bro, you hard. That kind of made me keep going with it. You know what I'm saying? But overall, it wasn't no, I me. Mean, I'm finna pick up and start rapping. It was like a way for me to cope. And then from then on, it's like damn, I, I relate to that. I relate to what bro saying. You know what I'm saying? I feel what he's saying. And shit, I just took it from them, you know what I'm saying? And that's where the creativity came from and all the pain in, in my music and what I go through. Like, that's where it came from, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, I'm doing this for no fame, no clout, or nothing like that. It's like, she, I was doing it for, you know what I'm saying, to maintain, to get out. You know what I'm saying? It was an out-of-body experience for me. That's why I got the name Obi from, you know what I'm saying? Like, writing this music was an out-of-body experience for me with my mama in the feds, you feel me? Like, sending me letters from the feds, like, when I say my mama used to kiss me through the ink in the mail, like, you know what I'm saying, getting them letters, having perfume on them letters, you know what I'm saying, in the actual, being being five, six, seven years old, and the actual communicating through that, you know what I'm saying, that was my way to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to get away from all the, you know what I'm saying, all the drama and the shit that was going on right here, you know what I'm saying? Shit show, shit show man, that's yeah. real, that's deep stuff for yeah. real, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, now you doing your thing with the music, man, you know, it's hard to, a lot of people think Houston is it's hard to come out of, I mean, it's easy to come in Houston because we have such a rich music culture. We got our own style. Yeah. We got our own lingo, and it's like nobody else is in the game. Yeah. We got our own everything. We got our own identification with cars, mm -hmm. all this. We got our, we really got our own music genre, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, with nah, the screw. For, nah, for so real. a lot of people on the outside mm -hmm. looking in, they feel like Houston is easier to get on, but... You know, I know you know this shit ain't easy nah, out here, dog. Nah, not at all. Yeah, so nah. so you been stomping down with it, doing the music, you know what I'm saying? Tell them what they go to YouTube and all the platforms to see what you got in. Man, you can go to you can go to Spotify, you can go to Apple Music, you can go to Title, you know what I'm saying? Uh I'm on everything. I'm on all platforms. All you gotta do is search Obi Noor, you know what I'm saying? Long way. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna pop up on everything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm constantly, every Friday I'm dropping a freestyle. I call it Obi Friday. You're gonna get a new freestyle from me every Friday. I've been doing that two years. Yeah. So count up how many songs that is, you know what I'm saying? That's aside from what I'm doing as far as album, mixtape, and all this, you know what I'm saying? So you can tap in with me on that and tap in with me on my merch, you know what I'm saying? On my website, check me out, man, long way, man. You know what I'm saying? You can get all the drip, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. If you've been through what I've been through, you going through a situation, you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You came a long way from where you started it. That's what it is, man. I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's big love. Hey, so um, you know what you're doing the music, doing the releases every Friday, man. Uh, I always preach that to artists. The consistency gonna get you in the game. It might take a year, might take two, might take three, might take four. Mm -hmm. But all that is going on your resume. Facts. And I tell I've been telling my partner, and I'm glad you, you brought this up in the interview I was seeing earlier today, you do the uh, Friday shit. 
Cause I remember when Russ was doing that. Yeah. And I ain't gonna cap. I wasn't fucking with Russ music. Yeah. But I respected how he did it. Yeah. I remember when uh, Nip was doing Marathon Mondays. Yeah. See, I ain't yeah. know that. You put me on something. Yeah, I ain't man. know that. I, and you can go down my page, bro. That's why I kind of I didn't wasn't fucked up about it. Cause Nip is not a personal homeboy of mine. But I love that nigga music so much. Every Monday when he would post his new shit, he would send it to SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. He'll have a dope a cover for it or whatever. Yo. And he'll send it to SoundCloud. And um, I'll go listen to it. I was anxious for it. Mm -hmm. And then all of those later became the Slauson Boy 2 mixtape. A lot of niggas don't know I don't, that. I ain't know that. Yeah, that, 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 that was how you put me on that. Yeah. 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 All those tracks on Slauson Boy 2. Yeah. Those had already came out on uh, SoundCloud. Okay. He just, Put them together, then combined to put them more tracks on there, mm -hmm. and then made it Slauson Boy too. Okay. That blueprint is excellent to get yourself respected yeah. and heard because yeah. the nigga gonna come through with it. I done done, I know, probably at least 250 interviews. Yeah. So I see now where like niggas are like, okay, are mm -hmm. we just gonna keep ignoring this shit? Yeah. So eventually it's gonna come around. Uh, who else was on that? Man, you know, Gucci used to drop three, four mixtapes, man. Wayne with the, uh, the drop Routes. days and yeah, shit, so yeah, that's what it is now. That's how you separate yourself. So mm -hmm. you already got the resume. Facts. And they could listen and say, oh, I'm gonna try to do that, but hey, you got to really want it. That's yeah. gonna make a break you right there.